Robert Montgomery was a uh, joint owner of a very successful accounting firm, and uh, he had this hobby of collecting plants. And so he had this competition going on with George Brett, who was owner of Macmillan Publishing, collecting cycads up north. But when George challenged the colonel to come south and continue their little competition with uh, palm trees and cycads, the colonel accepted. And in 1932, he came down here. He purchased this property here for $10,000. He built his house for $22,000. And over the next two years, he put $80,000 into his collections. In the summer of 1933, he traveled all over the state of Florida, uh, collecting and buying uh, any specimen palms he could find and of all the different palm species that existed in the state at that time, some 150 species. So at the end of 1934, and with contacts that David Fairchild had given him, it was, uh, of people sending him palms from all over, or palm seed from all over the world, he was able to build his collection and have here on the property 237 species and about uh, 1,000 plants already planted in the ground. By the end of the early, or by the early 40s, he had close to uh, 400 species here on the property. Now, all, not all of these were successfully uh, grown here, but at least he had 400 species, and probably one of the largest private palm collections in the country. 1953, he passed away, and his collection showed, slowly dwindled away over the years. By the time I came here as a postdoc at Fairchild Tropical Garden, he had only about 150 species here on the property. And so in 19... Uh, 92, I made my first collecting trip, and of course that was supported by Montgomery, since my postdoc was supported by Montgomery. And in 1994, I was actually hired here by, uh, by Montgomery to uh, continue as their palm specialist here on the property. Uh, so through uh, staff collecting and through uh, contract collectors we had, uh, we were able to build up the collections. So currently we have here on the property 477 palm tacks, about 413 species actually all, all in all. And we also have in the ground over 5,750 uh, specimens in the ground or planted. Uh, my daughter thinks she's the, an only child, but actually there's, she has here on the property about 1,550 a, a palm brothers and sisters. Okay. So, anyway, uh, what is this collection all about, anyway? Uh, our, our aim here, we, this is a population-based collection, so we're able to plant here on the property the same species multiple times. It was collected from different localities in order to completely or try to c capture the, the uh, genetic diversity of each and every species. Uh, we, as we try to, this is well-documented material, and uh, we always try to collect it while collecting material.
I collected these Bismarckian nobilis in 1995 from Madagascar. We went all over the country collecting seed from various localities. Of course, the prettiest ones are the really blue form that grows in that solo region. And uh, I always remember Madagascar because it's the place where we broke the Guinness Book of World Records for the most flat tires in one day. I counted 12. So what is the objective of the palm collection anyway? Well, we try to bring into here well-documented, wild-collected material for that re our research quality collections. And this is so we can uh, have researchers come from all over the world to work on these palms. And uh, also we try to put the palms into the landscape in a pleasing manner with uh, landscape quality and also with good horticultural practices. And so uh, basically at the end of the day, this collection is all about conservation, education, and research.